Welcome back from an ad break. So now we're just going to do a quick recap and see what we went through in the entire lesson. So we first looked at the formation of rust and also looked at the ways of preventing the rust that was formed. Now throughout this lesson, we used words such as corrosion, rusting, electroplating, galvanizing, and chemical equations to better explain how, how rust is formed and also how we can prevent the rust. So what I always want you to remember from this lesson is the following. So rust can be prevented by creating a barrier to keep oxygen molecules and water molecules away. Furthermore, more reactive metals corrode faster, such as zinc and iron. And at room temperature, rust occurs slowly, but faster near the ocean. Why, why does that happen? Because there's a presence of moisture. We know that that area it is very, very wet. So it, it, is, it's, it contains a lot of moisture. And then number four, not all metals can corrode. So the metals that cannot corrode are as follows. We have platinum, we have gold, we have tin, and then we have silver. And lastly, when the air in the specific area contains moisture, we refer to the area as having a corrosive climate. So if an, if an area contains a lot of moisture, we therefore say that that area has a corrosive climate. Why? Because the corrosiveness or rust occurs faster in the presence of moisture. Now learners, I want you to be able to explain the formation of acid rain. I've done all the explanation for you. Now I want you to explain the formation of acid rain. How is this formed? And until next time, bye.